In this video, we will discuss the selling prices of your items in Sage 1, including having more than one price list for your items, as well as how to adjust your items selling prices. With Sage 1 Accounting, you are able to maintain as many different price lists as your business requires. For example, if you have different prices for your retail customers and your wholesale customers. To create additional price lists, you'll need to go to your company settings. Then under your general settings, you'll select the item settings option. This will list all of your item settings, including the option to add, edit or delete price lists. To add a price list, click on the green plus icon and then click within the new row to name it what you want. Once the additional price list has been added, you are able to assign additional prices for each one of your items. This can be done in the following ways. Add the new price individually on each item master file. Or, re-import your items into Sage 1 with the additional prices included. Or lastly, you can copy the prices from an existing price list and then adjust these prices up or down. We have made it extremely easy for you to update your selling prices in Sage 1. Under the items menu, select transactions and then select adjust item selling prices. This will launch the adjust item selling prices wizard, which gives you three options to enable you to update your existing prices. The easiest and most visual option is the quick entry grid, which I'll explain last. It is advisable to print out or even export your list of items prior to making any of these adjustments. This will enable you to review your costs and selling prices prior to making any changes and will also keep a record on hand in case you need to revert any changes made. The first adjustment I will illustrate is the copy from another price list option. Using the example from before when we created a new price list, I will now populate this price list with selling prices per item based on an existing price list. Select the prices that you wish to copy from as well as the prices that you wish to populate. Follow the steps and your price list will have been updated. You now have the option to adjust your selling prices. This will return you to the selling price wizard. Select the price list you want to update. If you only have one set of prices, then this option will not display. Secondly, select how you'd like to update your prices. Either based on the current selling price, for example, if you want to increase your prices by 10%. Or, based on the last cost, if you have recently received an updated cost price list from your suppliers. Or, based on your average cost, if you want to maintain a consistent gross profit margin. The next step of the wizard will determine amongst other things which items you wish to update and what percentage you want to adjust them by. You may, for example, only want to update the prices for the items in the apparel category. The percentage increase you wish to apply must be typed into the adjustment percentage field. If you wish to decrease the prices, you would select a negative percentage. Finally, if you have recurring invoices set up with items linked to this price list, you can choose whether or not to update the prices that appear on those recurring invoices. By clicking next, you will have completed the update of your selling prices and will be able to review your new prices by viewing the item listing report. The final and most intuitive update option is the quick entry grid. This will give you the same adjustment options as before with the difference being that you can review the prices before updating them. Selecting the adjust prices manually option will allow you to type the prices into the grid, whereas the adjust prices by percentage option will pre-populate the updated prices. Once you have entered the grid, you are able to change your adjustment options, edit the selling prices in the grid, or you can even specify the GP percentage you wish to achieve. Once you're happy with your prices, you can confirm the update by clicking next. Your selling prices are now updated. Thank you for watching.